Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, good morning. So I have an update on the Remy Ma situation. So as you guys know, the other night I had showed you guys evidence of Remy Ma going, turning herself in. She later on bailed out, okay? So this case is getting really serious. So the blogs were reporting yesterday that Remy Ma is ready to basically prove her case, prove her innocence, and this is what's being reported. They're saying that Remy Ma denies all charges and claims she can prove it. According to reports, Remy Ma claims to have video proof of herself at home at the time that Brittany Taylor claimed she was attacked. Remy also believes that Brittany is just after money because she's pursuing a civil case and not a criminal one. So that's what was reported yesterday, okay? So now, as of this morning, Brittany Taylor's lawyer is now speaking out, and this is what he had to say about the situation. He's basically saying this is not reality television, this is reality, okay? And that what Remy Ma did was wrong, and that they are going after her criminally, not civilly. I also looked him up. His name is Sandy Rubenstein, and from what I see, he, he is a personal injury lawyer. Now, Brittany does look like she's going to sue. At that point, she would use a civil lawyer to go after her civilly, but in this case, she's definitely using a criminal lawyer and a personal injury lawyer at that. So it looks like Brittany is definitely going through with everything, and the lawyer is now speaking out, so I want you guys to go ahead and listen to what he has to say. Check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. After a criminal investigation, which took over two weeks by detectives from the 13th Precinct of Manhattan, Remy Ma has been charged criminally with assault and harassment. This is serious. This is real life. This is not reality TV entertainment. The victim, Brittany Taylor, has confidence in the Manhattan District Attorney's Office to prove this case to a jury beyond a reasonable doubt based on the totality of the credible evidence, including witness testimony and physical evidence. What's really important here will be the determination by a jury regarding guilt, not comments made by a criminal defense attorney. Sam what do you want to say? Attorney for uh, Brittany. Brittany. And uh, what do you want to say to Remy Ma's lawyer? See you in court. All right, so you guys just saw that. You guys just heard what he had to say. So this is not really looking too good right now. You know, I believe what they're trying to do, they're making sure they have all their ducks in a row because this is going to determine Remy's freedom. Because again, like I've been stating from day one, Remy Ma is still on probation. She does not get off until September 19th. You know, I hope this is all a lie. I hope there's no video footage of Remy Ma socking her in the eye because, again, Remy Ma had so much more to lose than Britney. That's why I said I never understood why Papoose's daughter just didn't step up and fight her and do what she had to do as opposed to Remy Ma jumping in. Granted, the itty-bitty bitch Britney has been fucking with Remy Ma for months, poking at her, you know, just harassing her, talking shit. And Remy has let a lot of stuff slide, you know, but now that she's reacted allegedly now Britney's the victim so the whole situation is sad all the way around and this is why before we make any decision especially when you're talking about you know physical decisions that can get you locked up especially if you're on probation you have to really think things through you have to think to yourself is it worth it she may have won the fight by getting her rocks off and punching that itty bitty bitch in the eye but did Remy Ma win the war and that's what we're all waiting to find out because if they end up throwing her back in prison for a probation violation she definitely lost that war and it definitely was not worth it okay because if she has to go back to prison she really should have just you know stomped the hell out that girl not just punched her in her eye you know what I mean so I don't think it was worth it at the end of the day and especially given Remy's you know violent past they're definitely going to use that against her um, because you know she shot her best friend so it's like they they're definitely going to use that against her. They're definitely going to try and hold Remy Ma accountable. And it's really sad because, again, this woman, Brittany, has been fucking with Remy for months. And then, you know, allegedly once Remy responds, now it's an issue. But, you know, hopefully Remy has that evidence. Hopefully she has proof that she was nowhere near the vicinity around that time and that she was not the one who punched Brittany. Like I said, I have been sent screenshots of people going back and forth who said they were there and that it was security who punched Brittany in the eye. But again, I can't find the screenshots because I get so many damn DMs, so I don't know. I'm still trying to look for them. But in the meantime, I wish Remy the best. This is just really unfortunate because she's in such a positive space in her life. You know, she had her baby. You know, she had that dream wedding and everything, and she's doing good. You know, she's happy now. And again, the devil's always busy. So I definitely wish her the best. Brittany, girl, oh, I'm so over you, honey, okay? Just just stop. Stop with the foolishness. Just stop. Because again, like I said in my last video, she didn't have all this energy for the white boy that she was accusing of beating her ass. 
you know, when Dex was allegedly beating her ass and doing all this to her, she didn't press not one charge. She didn't go to the police not one time. But she has all this energy for Remy Ma over an alleged eye punch. I don't know. I just find it really strange. But anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. Once again, concerning Remy Ma and Brittany Taylor and Brittany Taylor's lawyer coming out and speaking. Basically saying, uh, no, this is not just a civil trial. I'm criminal, personal injury, and we're coming after that ass. So let me know your thoughts. All right, deuces.